A warm welcome to all the grade four learners watching. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is Stefani Kotze and this is my friend that will be joining us today. But before we start with our lesson, let us sanitize. So this is very important. Everyone at home, quickly go and wash your hands. This is very important to sanitize. Okay, and remember social distance. Okay, good. So today's lesson is about health education and personal health. Okay, grade fours. I hope you guys are ready with your workbooks near you. Okay, so in our previous science lesson, we talked about how your behavior can affect your personal health. And we also said that if one person in a family gets sick, that will affect the whole family. So you can open your workbooks on page 26. We are going to talk about number one, identify foods that help to keep the body healthy. Okay, so let's start with the first one, vitamins. So vitamins is there to keep your body healthy and everything working properly. Vitamins also make your bones strong and keep your gums and teeth healthy. They also help you to grow and they protect us from getting sick. Okay, so this is why vitamins and minerals is so important because they will prevent illness. But now guys, it is very important to remember that your body cannot make vitamins on its own. Okay, it cannot create it. We need to eat food that contains vitamins. So we find vitamins in a whole lot of different um, foods. The first one is fruits and vegetables. You can see it on the picture in your book as well. We also find vitamins in meat and in dairy products, such like, such like milk and cheese. There is even one type of vitamin, vitamin D, that we get from the sun. And I think that is pretty cool. So the second one is protein. Proteins build up your muscles. So this one is specifically for the boys. I know that you guys, you want to be strong like your fathers. Okay, so you need to get in a lot of proteins. Proteins also repair and replace muscles so that your body can keep on working. And another interesting thing about proteins is that they make red blood cells that carry oxygen around your body. They also fight diseases and heal cuts and wounds. So when you get a sports injury, or, or any injury, um, then the proteins in your bloodstream will help your body to heal faster. We also need to get proteins from the food that we eat. So we can get proteins from a whole lot types of food. Um, for example, from meat, we also get it from eggs, nuts, and dairy products. So let's move on to the third one, carbohydrates. So carbohydrates gives our bodies energy to do work, to play and to do our schoolwork. But now it, it gets a little bit complicated and you guys must remember that there are two types of carbohydrates, simple and complex. So simple carbo carbohydrates, another word for it is sugars. And we get this from fruits. That is the healthy sugars, okay? We only get it from fruits. And um, also, what is important to remember is that simple carbohydrates give us a fast supply of energy, okay, but we lose that energy just as fast. Let's move on to complex carbohydrates. We get it from starches, from foods such as corn, potatoes, and carrots. And what is important is that, carbo that um, complex carbohydrates gives our bodies energy more slowly, but it lasts longer. Let's move on to the last one, fats. Okay, so fats is actually very important. It is our body's reserve tank of energy and it protects our organs. It also acts as an insulation and it keeps our bodies warm. So this is important for the girls now, because I know that you guys want nice shiny hair Okay, so that is what fats also do. They keep our skin and our hair healthy. But with fats, it is very important to maintain a balance because too much fats can cause you to become overweight and that is not what we want. 
Okay, that contains a whole lot of other health issues. Foods containing healthy fats will be something like avocados, salmon, sunflower seeds and flax seeds. Grade fours, I hope you are still with me. Are you still with me? Okay, good. Let's continue with number two. Describe ways how to promote your personal health. So you can take a look on page 26 as well. So let's start with the first one. Keep your environment clean. And remember you guys, in the previous lesson, we said that germs grow and flourish in a dirty environment. And that is why we need to keep our environments clean. Another reason is that mosquitoes breed in standing water that collects in rubbish dumps. Okay, and in malaria areas, this can cause a lot of illness. And if something as keeping your environment clean can prevent the serious illness, it is something we really need to do. The second part is we need to exercise regularly. Exercise helps you to develop a healthy heart and strong muscles. And when you develop a healthy heart and strong muscles, then you won't get sick so easily. So this is very important. Um, and even exercising for 30 minutes per day can develop a healthy heart and strong muscles. So if even if you, if you don't have a lot of time during the day and you only can exercise for 20 to 30 minutes, that will be enough. The third picture that you can take a look at is get enough sleep. So the thing is, when we sleep, our bodies rest and heals itself. This is why when you get a cold or a flu, your mom is going to tell you, go get into bed until you are healthy. Okay, so and another thing that is quite cool is that you, we actually grow in our sleep. So that is why sleep is so important. The fourth one is eat healthy food, eat nutritious food. Okay, we spoke about a balanced diet earlier as well. You need to eat the correct amount of all of the different types of food. Remember, we spoke about proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and vitamins. The last picture, you can see that boy is watch, washing his hands. Okay, so wash your hands after using the toilet. So when you use the toilet, you get germs on your hands. And when you don't wash your hands, you will transfer the germs to anybody that you play with during break time, or when you shake hands with somebody or something like that. And germs can cause us to become sick, so we don't want to spread germs. But this also includes personal hygiene, like washing your bed linen often and keeping your room clean. Okay, and it is very important, you guys, to help around the house as well. Um, yeah, help your parents to keep the home clean. So let us turn to page 27. In our workbooks, we, you can take a look with me at activity one. Okay, so it says match each food type with a correct example. So all you have to do is take a ruler and a pencil or a pen in your hand and then draw a line from the word to the right picture. Okay, so what word do you think fits with each of the pictures? So you guys can do that. And then also activity two, describe three ways how to promote personal health. And remember, we talked about this, so I am sure that you will be able to do this. But don't stress, the memorandum is on the next page, on page 28. Okay, but please try to do it on your own before you take, at the, take a look at the memorandum. Before we finish with today's lesson, let us quickly sanitize again. So this is very important. Okay, let's spray it on our hands. Rub it all over your hands. Okay, grade fours, remember social distance. It is very important. Thank you for joining me for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Joshi. And make sure to always make a helicopter circle stretching your arms out and spinning around like me. And make sure you're not touching anyone while doing this. Goodbye!